Second grade, how are you guys doing today? I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, we're ready to rock with our second grade lesson for today. We're starting on page 235 and going back to 236. You got some fun words to work in here today. You're gonna have a crossword puzzle as well, so a uh, lot to get to. Just to start off, a little review. Um, your versus your, their versus their, it's versus it's. Does it sound like I said the same word every time? Yeah, and that's, that's why I wanted to go over that a little bit because I wanted to make sure you guys were understanding and comprehending um, the differences. Um, when, when we look at this, we're really just looking at the difference of possessive versus non-possessive, okay? So what you're doing, when you say it's, it's, I-T-S, it's, it's, right there, that is possessive. That means it's mine. You would say this, right? I see this marker, all right? It's mine. This pen, it's mine, all right? This marker, it's mine. This is saying I have possession, all right? This right here, this is chapstick. It's mine, it's my chapstick. So when you say it's, when there's no apostrophe, you are referring to something that is under ownership. It's possession. I am saying right now, I'm talking to you guys on my computer. This computer, it's mine. What do you have that's yours? What can you say that it's mine? What do you have? I saw some toys when we did the Zoom the other day. Some of you were showing your mask you were wearing. Some of you were showing the toys that you have. All these things. Those toys, yeah, you would say it's mine. So I wouldn't say that's yours. I say, oh, those are yours. But if you're talking about your own toys, you say, Yep, these are, it's, it's mine, okay? Now, when you're talking about the other one, we have I-T apostrophe S, you're combining two words because that's what we call a contraction, all right? You're saying it is. So uh, apostrophe means there's two words. When you have no apostrophe and you just have a plural, showing possession, okay? So for the S, for I-T-S, possession, it's mine. When you say I-T apostrophe S, you're saying it is. So can I say that? I say, hey, guys, look, this chapstick, just chapstick, it is my chapstick. Yeah, I can say that, but it, the quicker way is to say it's, all right? Now, the apostrophe means there's two words, it's, I-T-S, just possession. Okay, looking down at the next one, your and you are, all right? Your with the apostrophe, again, combining two words, it's a contraction. So we smushed two words together and we came up with you are. You are really going to like today's assignment you are really going to like when you go to third grade. Those are things that you can look forward to in the future. You are, you are special, you are beautiful, you are amazing, you are smart. Now, when you take the E off and remove the apostrophe, you're talking possession now. Your, your toys, your shoes, your shirt, your, flint, your friends, your, so no apostrophe and no E means possession. If you put the apostrophe, it's two words, all right? The apostrophe means what? Two words, all right, you guys got it. Now we're going down to there, which is they are. Again, with an apostrophe, it's two words. So that's just the thing that's sticking in your head. Whenever you see apostrophe, you're thinking, oh, there's two words to this. When you see T-H-E-I-R, this is a really big trick. I, I want something to happen right now, and I'm looking down because I want you guys to understand this. There are some adults right now who do not know the difference between T-H-E-Y apostrophe R-E there, and they don't know the difference between T-H-E-I-R. I do not want that to be you guys. I want my students, my class to say, Mr. Hunter, he told me, I'm never gonna forget. T-H-E-I-R means you are talking about other things. You're talking about possession, you're talking about other people. So. I say, oh, you can even be talking about a lion. You see two lions together and they're eating. You say, oh, that's their food. That's possession. That's their food. It belongs to them. So T-H-E-I-R, possession. Everybody say T-H-E-I-R, there is possession. So when there's an E and an I in there, it's possession. Everybody do like this, possession, possession. All right, when it's T-H-E-Y-R-E, that's two words. It's an apostrophe, not possession, all right? Everybody get it? All right. My friend, I'm telling my friends, I'm teaching, and they said they are going to get it. And I said, yes, they are. So that's the first one there. All right. T H E I R, possession. All right. So today we're going to take a break from the prefix with un and re. That was a lot of fun. It's pretty simple. But we're going to go back to some more contractions. So we have an example up here on the board. We're going to go through the problems. I'm going to give you your dictation, and I'm going to let you go enjoy the rest of your day. All right, so looking at number one, it says write the contraction for each set of words on page 235. 
Make sure you write your name with your pencil. All right, we have the word cannot. What are we going to make into cannot? Cannot is one, uh, is two, two words there, it's cannot. How do we make that a contraction? How do we make it a contraction? If you say, Mr. Hunter, I cannot figure out how to do this. And yes, that's how, that's how you guys look when I did that. Mr. Hunter, I cannot figure out how to do this. Well, what's, the, what's another way you say? I can't. Now, here's what I would also say. My father told me when I was growing up, he said, don't you ever say can't. Don't you ever say that you can't do something. Always try your best. So we're gonna try, but if we're writing the word cannot, it's quicker and a contraction says can't. So you're gonna turn that into can't. How do we write can't? Well, you're just gonna take it simple like this. All right, take it. Put the apostrophe. All right. You should never use a word that you don't know how to spell. All right. Try to try to use. If you don't know a word, try to spell it. Figure out how to spell it. All right. Let's go down. Next one says was not. I was not at school yesterday. I was not at school or I wasn't. I wasn't. So we need to add an apostrophe. OK, I wasn't. What are you going to do? You're going to add a W to A to S. Then you're going to add an N, put an apostrophe and then put the T. Wasn't. Wasn't. All right, we're going to add that there. Was it? My markers are coming tomorrow. I'm so happy. All right, they are, they are. Wait a minute, guys. Didn't we just review this? Isn't there something over there? I'm not even going to write that one. They are. There. They are. There they are. There they go. There they are. There they go. You guys get it? All right. And last one, you are. Wait a minute. It seems like Mr. Hunter knew what we were going to talk about today. All right. So that's you are equals your with the apostrophe. You're adding two. It's a contraction. Two separate words. All right. Let's get ready to go on down to the next one. You're going to do the rest of those. Um, if you want to pause the video and while you finish that, go right ahead. We're going to move on to number two. So number two says write the correct words to complete each sentence using each word in the box one time. Okay, so guess what? This time they give us the clue. They're only going to use these words one time, so we only have to do it once. All right, I'm excited about that. So let's look. Let's start reading. The king vulture lives and believes. Ooh, the king vulture. You ever seen a vulture before? I'm going to show you a vulture. Look forward to that in the video. The king vulture lives and believes. Blank feathers are brightly colored. Okay. Okay, I think I know what it is, but we have to try it. Let's, look, let's go through the blank. We have to go through all of them. So what feathers? Their feathers? Mm, let's talk about one person. So one be more. They are feathers? No. Your feathers? The king vulture lives in Belize. Your feathers are, high, are brightly colored. No. So we can mark out your. We can probably mark out you are. So now we have to come down to the last two. It's and it's with the apostrophe. Which one of those shows possession? Whose feathers are we talking about? We're talking about the king vultures. So if we're talking about possession, we have to add the I to T and the S, no apostrophe. Apostrophe means two words. We don't need two words there, we need one, possession. So its feathers are brightly colored. Now, here's what you do. Go up to the box, the word that you just used, take your pencil, cross it out. Now you won't be confused and think, oh, I have to use that word again, because now you know you only have five choices left, okay? now. It keeps, keep reading, right? It says, blank known for their strong bills and sharp claws. Hmm, blank known. So let's look at the first one. There, they're known. Hmm, I think it's gonna be there, but which there is it? Guys, we just went over this. When you see a contraction, it's two words. Does a contraction show possession? No, a contraction does not show possession in this case. So what are we going to do? Wait. Wait, wait, am, am I confusing you? Am I messing up? Oh, Mr. Hunter was wrong. That's why you have to pay attention and don't just listen to somebody telling you the answer. So let's look closely. All right, there, there is possession. They're known for their strong bills and sharp claws. But the T-H-E-I-R that says possession, that's not talking about possession in this sentence. There's nothing being possessed. So they are, with the contraction, guess what? That's the one we're gonna use. They are known for their strong bills and sharp claws. So instead of they are, we're right there. 
Now, Mr. Hunter, why would you waste our time? Why would you try to confuse us? It seemed like you were just going to keep going. I was going to keep going, but you have to stop. You have to really pay attention to this. They sound the same. They start with the same letters, but that's why it's important to know the meaning. A contraction means two words. We have T-H-E-I-R, possession. You want to know the difference between possessive and contractions, all right, non-possessive. Non, non all right, keep reading the rest of the sentences, and you're going to plug in the other words that are in the green box, okay? And make sure you cross them out once you finish using them, all right? Um, I'm going to read your dictation for you, starting at the bottom. You have three words at the top, and then I'll read your sentence at the bottom, okay? So if you're not finished yet, go ahead and pause the video. You can pick back up when you're finished. All right, so we're ready for our dictation. The first word you have is neat, neat. In the morning, you should make your bed nice and neat. Next word is neatly, neatly, all right? My bed was made neatly this morning, neatly. And next word, neater, neater. My bed can be made neater, neater. All right, the sentence underneath the bottom says, wasn't your sunburn painful? Wasn't your sunburn painful? Wasn't your sunburn painful? That's the sentence, all right? Interrogative question there. All right, start to put, turn the page over. Number one says, add the special sound to make the word. Find the words in the word search. Wait a minute, guys, what are we doing? We're doing a word search, it's gonna be fun. But what you have to do is you have to find the words in the word search. So add the special sound to make the word. So you see fuzz, look at the key. If you see something that ends in a z, then you have to add a letter to it. So you add Y and baby, I, E and brownie, E and me, E, A and leaf, E, Y and key, and Y and rainy. You add them to the beginning sounds. Fuzz, fuzz, E and me, or fuzzy like baby. Hmm. Fuzzy like baby, I think that's right. So we add a Y, you just write the letter, write the letter Y. You're gonna do that for all of these. Once you find the words and you spell them correctly, guess what, the fun begins. You're going to have to find the words in the word search. And it's gonna be pretty, uh, I won't say that. I'll just say you guys are gonna have fun, all right? Enjoy the, enjoy the crossword puzzle and uh, make sure you find all the words, circle them, but make sure you put the right letters in the blank. That's the first part, because guess what? If you put the wrong ending sound, you're going to be looking for a word that's not there, and you'll be looking forever. You don't want to do that, all right? Um, at the bottom, circle the best word to complete the sentence. You're doing more practice with your and your, there and there, it's and it's, all right? I don't know what else to say, except I believe you guys are going to do well with this. Have a great rest of your day. I love you. See you tomorrow.